Four. And just to, to add one further point, education, you're supposed to transcend yourself. That's the, mm -hmm. that's the point of education. But what's happening is the opposite. Um, so you, you're, you're just going to reinforce all the stereotypes about your identity. And you can only learn from people who look like you. You can only learn from people who have had the same experience of you. The opposite should be the case because you don't just want to be more of yourself. You don't just want to get back in your shell. You want to break mm -hmm. out of that shell and take on the world. But isn't it, don't you think that the upshot of all this, at least it is for me, sorry Philip, because uh, I know it's your livelihood, um, is just to <laughs> close them all down. No, yeah. Just don't go to university. Mm. I, I would say that to any young person. I mean it, really. Like uh, I've had a couple of uh, like a couple of steps on, uh, not steps on. What am I talking about? Godsons. Godsons. <laughs> um, what should I do and everything? This is a few a few years ago now, and I sort of thought you could go, but you're going to come up against all sorts of stuff. Uh, I, you know, I didn't want to kind of, you know, make too bleak a picture and you're going to pay hugely for the privilege. Um, I think these places are, are rotten now. Mm -hmm. I think people shouldn't it, go. Well, this you should do other things. Go and do other things. Don't bother with this. Mm. I'm sorry, I mean, I don't mean because I know it's terribly important what... Oh. I'm, I'm talking from the position of someone who grew up and still believes this is incredibly important, of course, mm. but they are no longer doing what they should do. But this ties in, well, certainly there are far too I, many I, people going I to university. I agree completely. I agree completely. I really do. There should be far fewer people going to university. Yeah. In this, and the whole value of a degree has been devalued by the mm. fact that all these polytechnics were converted into universities under John Major, for example. Mm. And there are far too many graduates uh, than mm. there should be. And then we, we didn't do what the Germans did with apprenticeships, for example, far more valuable for people who aren't necessarily academically minded. But this goes back to the broader point of building our own institutions yeah. mm. and what America has done so successfully is establish these independent mm. colleges and universities foremost mm. of which would be Hillsdale yeah. and, the Cla and Claremont for example mm. and there's also the Bible Institute of Los Angeles that I've, I've lectured at as well and these are privately founded institutions mm. that aren't tied to any left-wing ideology and believe in teaching traditional classics and mm. the foundations are of Western civilization and it's high time that we established that there's so much concern about universities in this country that I can't can't see why people can't mm. get together mm. and establish similar institutions in this country that are actually free from the mm. and unfettered by mm. ideology. Well, there We've is Buckingham. The there is Buckingham. The there Buckingham. is Buckingham. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but Buckingham started in the early 80s, I mm. believe, mm. and it's still the only one. Mm. And it's not like it's rapidly, no. you know, no. sort of. It's just it's just a sensible institution. Yes. Yeah. And. Uh, I, I agree completely with what you say, Peter. But but I would also say that there are individuals working in the in, in the system, running modules, running degrees, who who are fairly sensible. I, I would say I'm fairly sensible. Yep. You know, I, the, Eric Kaufman, Doug Stokes, very mm -hmm. good friends of this, of this channel. You know, there are people there, and there are you know. It, so I think it, for people who are, who want to go to university or whose children or grandchildren want to go to university find the right professor find the right people that's mm -hmm. that's what you should do but also if you're not ready don't go you know really don't go if if it if it's not for you don't go because you're going to encounter a particular kind of experience let me leave it at that but well, the problem of course here as i said before is that finding the right person has become far more difficult and i've said how many times on this channel mm -hmm. that back when i was at university in the 90s there were two liberals for every one conservative in, yeah. in the university. Now, you can now that's that. na now that's yeah. nine or ten to yeah. one, and in America it was a, a, th a three to one ratio, which is now seventeen to one in America. Mm. So it's very difficult to find. I don't know whether I could have studied military history in the way that I did mm -hmm. at university today, for example. But the thing I, is, no one's going to say that they're a conservative anyway. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a minority of one saying mm -hmm. it, you know, crazily. Mm -hmm. But but the the atmosphere in on on campus is such that you 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 really don't. Before I think we, you, I think I just say that it's, it's worth. Uh, I think we've discussed it recently, but the one group uh, that. Is right at the bottom now of the league table in terms of entry. White boys. A white working class boys. Mm. And I almost have to say, actually, guys, you know, you're better off. Yeah. <laughs> because if you thing. were to go, you would be seen as the perpetrators of original sin mm. for being exactly what you are. I, I would say this also too, I'm just, it's young men mostly, I'm saying, mm. about, uh, when they say, what should I do in life, you know? Don't go into a company for the same reason. Don't go into a corporation. Mm. Your life will be miserable, right? But I suppose then the question is, what do you do? Right, you are, well, in that, yes, exactly. 
be your own boss if you can mm. start something if you can there are some things and even they're being i think slightly infected now which are i would always think the military is a very good thing for example uh, it's a worthwhile thing to do but generally work for yourself in some shape or form whether it is a physical thing or whether it's a uh, even the military's uh, uh, woke now though isn't it mean, yes indeed as i just said it is it's, it's getting that way but avoid the corporation you are going to have just you know years of fighting this kind of unseen foe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and it's the same with universities mm -hmm. i feel mm -hmm.